It's the only masking tape I had. So we're now covering our wire frame with masking tape. Easy, right? that foam. I got it with the um, solar panel I bought. In order to make your in order to make your gorgonzola teeth look realistic, you need them to be pointy. And these are really boxy. You know when you just cut out a cut out a triangle shape, it's real boxy. So I'm taking my heat gun. Blasting the edges for a couple seconds and then pushing this into a point. And now we have a very toothy type shape. It's a little fat right under there, so let's get that in. It just, just morphs into a tooth shape. Always use the low setting with foam or it's going to melt the foam too fast and the foam will disappear. I might even use tacky glue instead. Hot glue on the paper mache. I mean, count to five or so to let that temperature come down. We're just going to stick this to it. Hold it on there as that glue cools, it hardens up. I know this looks stupid so far, but just wait. That'll make great teeth.
if it takes me 15 seconds to make each tooth times a uh, thousand teeth, that equals 15,000 seconds. So we'll divide seconds into minutes. So we'll say divided by 60 equals 250 minutes to make all those teeth. We'll divide that by uh, 60 minutes in an hour. And I get four hours and 16 minutes to make a thousand teeth. Well, I better get to work. I decided to attach, attach foam to the inside of the ear and then melt it. And this looks really gross. It's kind of perfect. So now we have this nasty ear. It's nice and thick. A big fat sandwich. Once this is painting, painted, it's going to look awesome. Okay, I'm going to hit him with a coat of black spray paint if I can find any. So cool. There we have it. Here's the, uh, there's the mouth. So he should be able to see over the top of the eye uh, right here. There's going to be more paint, so I don't really have to worry about if I trim off the spot and it has a white showing or anything. I'll try and get it bent now. And bend up the the uh, I, I don't know what you call these petals the disgusting like mouth thing okay I'm gonna try and bend these up and um, make them so that if it shuts it looks really like the monster what the Demogorgon is is this creature from another dimension and someone messed around with psychokinetics and, and psycho uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like mind reading and all that. They messed around with it and they tore a hole through to a different dimension. And this creature escaped. And it's attracted by the smell of blood. So, it's not a zombie, but it's a Demogorgon. And when its face is closed up, it's like this. And then when it, when it goes to eat or scream at somebody, it opens up its mouth and there's teeth all around in it. So it's really a freaky thing. And this is from the TV show Stranger Things. I'll tell you, it is Stranger, but if, when it's closed, it's like not, it's gross, but it's not nearly as scary. And then it goes Wah! and opens up with all the teeth. So we need to get some red stuff in here and the teeth. And I'm gonna need to look at a picture again and see how the teeth are laid out. Okay, it worked. The teeth are glowing. I used thread to attach the mask to a just a regular winter hat that was black, and I got the kid some black long johns to wear. And that's it. I got Wilhelm's boots on. Hi, I can't see. Ah! Ah! Okay, so what do I do if my nose runs? It feels running already. Ah! Ah! Flip your head back. Oh, not that far back. I can see your neck when you do that. Yeah, there you go. Shake your head around like this. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what do I do if my nose runs? It feels runny already. I got Wilhelm's boots on.
thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment.